Hey everyone, this is my Patreon Proud Reaction to the first episode of Shiro Bako. So being a Patreon Proud Reaction just means that it's a reaction series that was requested by one of my Patreon supporters who is at a high enough reward here to do so. If you are interested in learning more about how that works, you can go to my Patreon, which is linked in the description box below. So, this anime is Shiro Bako. All I really know about it is that it's apparently an anime that lets you learn a little bit about the anime industry, like I don't think you're going to become an expert or anything upon watching it. But, you know, if you're interested in anime, I suppose this will give you a bit more of insight on maybe how some of this stuff works. Uh, maybe if you're interested in getting a job in the anime industry, maybe it would help be helpful for that as well. I, I have no idea. I haven't watched it yet. But all I know is that this does seem like a fairly popular anime. It definitely has a good score on my anime list. I have heard people talk about it before, so... Yeah, I'm hoping it's... I hope it, it's an enjoyable watch. Let's begin in 3, 2, 1, play. Seven lucky warriors. Are they all female? This question is important. <laughs> what better thing to swear on? <laughs> Just don't drop them. Those are perfectly good donuts. So they're like an anime club basically in high school? No, you. It's gonna take me some time to get the names down. Well, that's a concern for everyone. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Especially when a lot of people just like hiring this, a select few of really good voice actresses if they're able to. You know, like Takahashi Riha. <laughs> Riha, just take off some clothes. You're all girls there, it's fine. And yeah, it's hot here as well, so I can relate. <laughs> oh, you were talking to me? I was busy. I didn't mean to ignore you. Oh man, that poor sunflower. Uh... Well... Ch the chocolate ones aren't because they melt everywhere. Don't talk with the mouthful. Bugs, good thing the window shut. Don't want to let them get in. <laughs> it's like animation. Good job. Phrasing, but yeah. It's still, a, it's still an important part. Okay, who invited this wet blanket? <laughs> uh, I take that as a yes. Seven boys are clearly not all girls. Okay. You know, names are hard enough to remember without everyone having a nickname as well. Yeah, first names, last names, nicknames, it's just not fair. <laughs> the voice acting. <laughs> uh, okay, that's not the best voice acting ever. That's not how you pronounce that. It's okay. I know most people don't get most lines on the first take. Probably. Okay, so we get to see the final product. Not a huge, not a huge audience or anything, but hopefully they like it. Lights, camera, action. Ami no Yama High School. <laughs> It does feel very amateurish, but that's, you know, it's a charm to it. Are, are we not going to do the whole thing? I just kind of sped on to graduation. But yeah, I knew this wouldn't be high school anime. This is going to be an in-the-industry anime, so obviously the vast majority of it would be after they leave high school. Is it the same donut from before?
<laughs> what if like their feel like their hopes and dreams are gonna be crushed? <laughs> that was a nice transition, donut to a steering wheel. That's the look of where did I go wrong in my life? <laughs> uh, man, it's relatable. So I think it, I think that's uh, basically she's been hired by an animation company. I need ready. What? Say that again. I, I think it's loud enough. For free. As opposed to JC staff. Does you want a race? <laughs> Are we really gonna get a race? I don't recommend that. Apparently she's up for it. And Ah. <laughs> and then a song actually plays. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually getting a freaking car street race here. I was not expecting that. The series starts they're getting arrested. <laughs> Oh man, she got some air on that one. Uh, slow motion, of course. My god. So silly. <laughs> uh, that's a nice song though. I want to keep her eyes open while doing this. It'd be really dark if she died in this scene. I don't think that's going to happen, but wow. That'd be something else. Bumpy ride. <laughs> I win. Again, so this is not the first time for this. Exodus into tomorrow. Exodus episode 4. So Exodus is the name of an anime, pretty much. Misato. Take whatever you got. You're actually looking forward to it. Uh, I mean, a one core show is not that bad. <laughs> is he? Yeah, just look at that stretch. It's a great stretch. <laughs> Yes, we can. And more speed driving. I can read the animation part on the door. That's about it. It's a cute little bear. Nobody's here, though. Feels a bit lonely. Guess that means you get all the donuts to yourself. It's weird seeing her without donuts in her hand, honestly. Well, like, no one is here. Like, no one. You come into work on the wrong day? That happens at the best of us. Oh, 
Oh, okay. okay, I think we found everyone. <laughs> Having a party of some sort. I'm not gonna remember any of this. That's the concern. Ooh, that's a nice character design. And she... <laughs> wow, it actually said character design. <laughs> Wait, that was well. That was the one girl from the club, right? She looks cool too. And there's our director. For a change. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. You don't need your sweat everywhere. There are so many characters. A certain temple's mummy. What? Like a certain scientific railgun? Is that the reference? You fight. Maids? Were those maids? I think I saw maid uniforms. Way fly. The big city. No makeup is real life. And yeah, that was Exodus, I guess. Yeah, that one character really stands out. Don't touch me with your sweaty hands. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm sure. Better than terrible. Ow. What? Don't fondle yourself in public. Yeah, I promise. Yeah, these two. So at least two of them in here. I I think that's the one of the girls from the club. <laughs> Actually got a slight blush out of her. Exodus key frame, key frame check chart. All about the donuts. Are you okay there, buddy? Well, you weren't really doing much back there right now. You could probably be doing something more productive than that. Seven years. Three D check. <laughs> uh, I like how she's covering one eye. So you probably don't want to eat them. But somebody will. Yay. Yep, they're screaming. It's a bit behind schedule. Uh, and then... Yeah, that's, uh, that's not done. That, that would be bad, yeah. <laughs> uh, calm down. 
No. No frames. Wow. <laughs> Think before you talk, buddy. Well, you were wrong. I'm guessing that was not very many people. We just, we just put up a recap episode. Does he do anything besides fidget and sweat? I'm starting to think he doesn't. <laughs> uh, I'll do the Moe anime. Oh, that's just mean. Musashi no Dome. You could try. <laughs> Hello, we we'll come to visit. Maybe ask you a favor. Um, I like how she slowly started to shut it. <laughs> yeah, don't ask the impossible. Yeah, that's the question. <laughs> uh. Rivals. No, his hands are full of smoking. Not good. <laughs> uh, don't talk for me. Did you say that? Probably. Uh, I'll fill it with confidence. Would you shut up? I know, right? He is very annoying. How dare she? But yeah, I can just tell from the personalities that they have very different styles. Nice. Wow, of course that's what he's talking about. <laughs> tell me more. Yeah, more. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, well, we kind of have to. Sakura. Very anime name. <laughs> Someone's bored. Yeah. It's a very nice apron. Extra thick. 
a smell, but will that be a nice smell? Oh, cool. I just gotta, you know, make sure there's less, uh, less production issues. Salt... Is that really called Salty Dog? Interesting brand name. <laughs> I know. I know. You want some of those don don donuts. Oh, and is that what that is? Well... Word. Oh, that's a really cool one. I want that. <laughs> Eye patch looks awesome. <laughs> Now kiss. Yeah, how could she do such a thing? <laughs> I love that eye patch. <laughs> you are just being silly. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, well, we already knew this would be a difficult task. If you could even get it done, like, near the deadline. Impressive. <laughs> I bet they were. Any moment now. <laughs> 1327. Yeah, you should probably do that. Don't, don't drop your phone. Nice recovery. Yeah, I mean, you can tell by how excited she was. Uh, yeah, I think it's very nice to why she's so used to driving quickly. She looks... I mean, it's, it was probably a long day. Okay, we're getting through it. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, it's already 15, 18. Again. If you run, like, run fast. It really does feel quite hectic. <laughs> yeah, you really can't. She is. Oof. I feel slightly exhausted just watching all this. More donuts. I'll take one of everything, please. <laughs> uh. Anyone home? I have donuts if that sweetens the deal at all. No pun intended. Somebody collapsed? Oh. Yeah. And we are really going to end off on that. She walks into a unconscious person. And those are our five girls. You only really got to see two of them, like, what they're actually doing. I do love her character design. <laughs> It's funny because I think the little pop-up thing said she was a character designer. I like how much driving just in the ED. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> she looks so cheerful. <laughs> Especially if she has a donut on her hand and you can just sh shove them in your mouth. 
So I guess the redhead one is like a voice actress. That motion capture stuff, yeah. <laughs> They're touching fingers. So that was the first episode of Shiro Bako. And this anime, yeah, it pretty much does seem to be about the anime industry, like specifically this anime uh, production company, which was called Mus uh, Musashino. Yeah, Musashino Animation Production Company. Anyway, yeah, basically we started off with our five girls, I think it was five. They had like an animation club at school, at high school, which they did some little projects and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of funny because she's like, a, like the, the, I think it was her name, the red-haired girl. She seems to like be like, like a voice actress, I guess that's what she wants to be. And, but since they were kind of limited, and since the club's kind of limited on who they can have, like pretty much everybody had to contribute in the voice acting of the, of the, of the anime, so people who have like no voice acting talent at all also helped out, so that made, that made some pretty hilariously bad voice acting there, which was pretty funny. Yeah, that's, because I think they each wanted to do like different things, like one wanted to be a keyframe animator and voice actress and just, you know, different things like that. Anyway, we only get to see two of them, what they actually end up doing, and the two of them that do work at the Musashino... Yeah, Musashi no production company. Uh, Aoi and Emma, although a lot of people call Aoi uh, Miyamori, like uh, a meowing version of Miyamori, her actual family name. But yeah, she, I guess, uh, production assistant, I think, is what her position at this company is. But they both work at the company together, which is really cool. Like, the fact that they both get to work, not only work at an anime production studio company, but uh, also, you know, get to be with someone they know. So that's cool. And I think they said Emma was a keyframe animator, so, you know, good for her. Uh, I guess Aoi's job is, like, I don't know exactly what, like, each of these positions or jobs really entail, but it seems like she's very much a, whatever little busy work needs done, you, hey, you go do it. Like, that seems to be kind of her job. Which, I mean, assistant, yeah, I guess it makes sense, just do whatever needs to be done, I guess. Now, during that one celebration meeting thing, it showed off a lot of characters that work at this company, and it kept, and it, it showed them for a couple seconds, it showed their name, what they do at the company, but when they do that for, like, 20 people, I'm not going to remember all that, so... Not, not at all. Uh, I do remember the cute girl, I think she was called Erika. Uh, she seems somewhat important. I don't think she was one of the original five at the high school or anything, but I, I can see her being important. Also, the character design girl, I don't remember her name either, but, you know, I, I would like to see more of her. I haven't really seen enough of Emma or the other girls from the, you know, original animation club to really have an opinion on them, but I do quite like Aoi. She's, she seems like a fun, cute character. Uh, she works hard, she does her best, and stuff like that. But yeah, basically the conflict this episode was one of the episodes were behind, like, uh, like I think the thing was still at the storyboarding stage or whatever. I, I don't know a lot of this terminology, but the point is things needed to get done that weren't done yet, so that was holding up everything else. So it was kind of going in panic mode to get that done, kind of like putting other things on hold to the side to, to make sure we just get this done because that kind of has to take priority. And yeah, that pretty much, that was pretty much the, the bulk of the episode was dealing with that problem, running from place to place, doing everything like... Like, uh, on the double, like, definitely speeding up things. Uh, pretty much having to kind of maybe cut some corners, and pretty much, yeah, it was, it was a difficult situation, but it seems like they got that figured out, so, you know, no problems there. I do want to check up on what the other three girls from the club are doing currently, since we only really got to see two of them, what they're doing, so, yeah, I'm sure we'll get more into that, probably next episode. I also feel like a lot of the conflict in this episode of this series is probably just going to be, like, you know, production problems. Like, oh no, something didn't get done that was supposed to get done. We need to, we need to, like, go full pawn panic mode and fix that. I feel like that would probably be a nice chunk of the, the series. I don't know. It's a little bit, I guess it's a little bit really to really say that. But I don't know. I just, I don't see what else it could really be. Like, I don't see what other real conflict they could have in this series unless they, you know, have some, I guess, uh, personal relationship stuff. But I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's probably all I really had to say on this one. Uh, uh, yeah, till, I, till I watch the next one. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.